All right, I'm back today to the I Am Still Music Tour with Force and Black opening up the show. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Did you think out there, girl? Thank you. So you're the new co-signing for Wayne, right? Or how's that work? Um, my management mm -hmm. is Young Money Cash Money, and then I'm signed with Red One Productions. Mm -hmm. So it's through that intertwine. Yeah, <laughs> I got, so you got everybody back in. Yeah, good. you got a, you got a big. Like, <laughs> and, and Red One actually said in the Grammys, you know, watch out for three different people this year, and your name mm -hmm. was one of them. Yeah. So we got big things coming from you. When's the album dropping? What's it called? What's um, it? Don't, we're not sure on the name exactly yet, but it should be out this summer, probably like a couple months. Mm -hmm. So just finishing, uh, finishing touches. And, and who's all, who are you working with so far? Um, well, just Wayne, but Rick Ross asked me to do a song, Little Twist, Chanel. A lot of people. Well, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I know. Oh, everybody's well. asked, so we it's got like fun. lots of songs coming, and there's lots of stuff and getting ready. But me and Rick already started on our song, so we're. So you say you're working with Chanel. Now I'm, I'm all for girl power, and you know some people feel like you know the glass ceiling thing, and I've heard some people say like, okay, she's the next one, the new female for Wayne. So Nicki Minaj and Chanel better watch out, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Because I don't like that. I think females can all work together and there would yeah, be more than one female in the group and how do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, I feel like, I mean, it's not really a competition. We're all together, we're all a family and we all support each other. So, it's like, I don't think it's like anybody's the next thing. It's just us working as a team and working together. And Plus, your together. style is different. Yeah, I mean, we're all different and special in our own ways, so it's not like yeah. anybody's better than anybody or you're whatever. Not, you're not it's trying all... to sabotage the next person and put some stuff no, in their words. No, we're keep all like things. family, you know, so it's good. It's good. That's sisterhood. Yeah. Sister <laughs> you got to, you know, especially yeah. in this male-dominated world. Now, how would you describe your style? My style? I always say it's like if Britney Spears and Marilyn Manson fucked and had a kid. <laughs> it would be me. You're because... prettier than I can imagine that kid being <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I don't know, that kid is coming out not, <laughs> kind of, you know, mm. yeah, no, well, <laughs> but their personality is if they <laughs> conceived child. Yeah, 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 okay. and the music, the songs, it's kind of industrial, Nine Inch Nails, Manson, but then it's, you know, got that Britney Spears pop dance element, mm -hmm. and those are my two, like, idols, I love them, like, so Manson, they, Manson and Trent Reznor, mm -hmm. so, it's, uh, I, and I really wanted to bring those two songs because it's something that's never been done. So I like that. I, I've never you know, <laughs> Britney Spears hit me baby one more time, and we're all stars now in the dope show. That's cool. Yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> that's really cool. So how can people stay in contact with you? Uh, my Twitter. What is uh, it? It's just at Porcelain Black. Okay. So. Who do you tweet back and all that? I do. Uh, I tweet back to my fans all the time. I know some people. Some people are like groupie-ish with it, and, but that's fine. You know, they make you popular because they it's always, it's always good to give uh, love back it is. to the people yeah. that give you love because, like Wayne always says, like he does the one, two, three. I ain't shit without you, mm -hmm. and it's true. Like you're nothing without your fans, and I really. Uh, respect my fans that I've had for a long time because I've been doing this for, for a long time a really long time I read about that that you, you're from Detroit right yeah 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 okay you should something with M like, we are okay. cool. <laughs> so, okay. I licked it so Sorry. that's another one over there go. I'm like ah! Well, there you go. So <laughs> and I read you've been doing this for a long, long time, which is pretty cool because I feel like you're about to blow up this year. You definitely got 2012. Everybody's going to know who you are. Yeah. But you've been working hard for a long time, so it's going to really mean something to you, which is. Yeah, which is I mean, it's definitely not something like, oh, it just happened and I got signed. Like, I've been through the ringer, I've had old record deals, and I just kept going and going and going, you know, and I just didn't give up, you know, because there's so much bullshit in the industry yes. and so much fakeness and it was just like the other situations I was in before were bad, so now, and, but it was good because you even went. though the first shit didn't work out, it was a learning experience for me. And it so set it you made, up for this. And it made me smarter and know, like, mm -hmm. what's really going on with stuff, so that's good and it's all positive and... Through all these years, I've written so much amazing music that I'm really proud of, from my old Porcelain and the Tramp stuff to the Porcelain Black stuff now. So, and I just like really respect my fans. I mean, 
I've had fans coming out to the show that are like, Porcelain in the Trails! And I'm like, I know you're old school. I know, right? <laughs> you're it, saying that. It's changed. So I put a ditty on you. It's changed. <laughs> but it's cool, though. I know, right? <laughs> but it's cool. All right, cool. So, yeah, let's <laughs> interview backstage. Porcelain Black, formerly known as Porcelain in the Tramp. <laughs> nice talking with you, Porcelain. Nice talking with you. Thank you so I'm much. looking forward to the album. I'm looking forward to hearing about you and seeing you at the Grammys. Yeah. Accepting an award. <laughs> <laughs> All right.